Shalom, all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone by Shem Rakak with Dash. My name is Yakaba from Plain Tables Camp, Philly. Now, this is. Uh, your government has been lying to you. All right. And it's proved it because the FBI director, I believe, came out and said that it's possible or likely that. The cough came out of uh, Wuhan, all right, which could be a lie. They could be planting information. But the point is, is that they they withheld information on which they already believed, all right. Because whenever they come out with a statement, it has to be approved. All right, they just can't tell you. So they they make people come up with different theories. Why well, they allow people to come up with different theories and think a certain way, and by not you know, saying what you know, you're lying by omission. All right, this is June 15th, 2023. We now know the first three people to get the cough worked in Wuhan with a U.S. government act. I don't know what the hell they're going to do by acting. I don't know what that means to act. It says, it is no longer a question that the cough 19 leaked from China's notorious uh, Wuhan Institute of Ver. All right. So I don't know. Uh, there are different articles I'm reading. They're saying it's possible and it's likely. I don't, know, I don't know about it's no longer a question. All right. So they can just say whatever the hell they want. And some some people say it's, yeah, it's definitely happened there. Other people say it came from a, a damn bat. Other people say it, it was engineered. In the uh, in this lab, uh, other people say you know it came from you know frequencies that is no different than the uh, the flu. It says what's more, this week my colleagues met Alex explosive story of first three people sickened by the cough were scientists experimenting with the different coughs all right sources within the u.s government say that three of the earliest people to become infected were ben hu or ben hu yo ping and yan zhu all were members of the wuhan lab when a source was asked how certain they were that these were the identities of the three scientists who developed symptoms consistent with the cough in fall 2019 before the spread around the world were told 100%. So they're being told these are the, the three people they have 100% certainty. They were the first ones that, that had these uh, type of symptoms. And which are the same exact symptoms. It's not like a new symptoms. There's no such thing as a new. You feel a new way. <laughs> like I'm coughing well, but this cough feels, you know, different. Like there's a new a new cough or something. Alright. So you saw I'm trying to just make shit up. I'm I'm bleeding different. <laughs> You're uh National Institute of Allergy and this uh, director Anthony how long did they know that's the point how long did they know whether this is true or not you know whether it's manufactured they probably are working together anyway the Chinese government American Europe Russia how long did they know and why did they keep it secret because it's a secret council they get together behind the scenes they got plans. They want to decrease the world population. They want to uh, uh, cause chaos to, to establish order. But the next time around, they may very well just declare martial law all around the world and lock you in your house so you can't go to work and they'll have food stations set up next time, maybe. We'll see. Why did they keep it a secret? All right, so now we know that the world's governments they keep secrets they lie because some of you didn't believe that the, that they, there was there were conspiracies a conspiracy is when it means uh, breathe together 
when two or more people come together in secret and they did uh, come up with a plan or an agenda. Right? Where and this plan was not to say anything, all right, or to engineer a sickness or manufacture one. Which one theory is is the same as the uh, same as the flu. All right, so engineering something the same as the same as the flu. All right, it says the first three people sickened by a cough or science is experimenting with the uh, cell-like coughs. All right, and then it gives you the names here, and these aren't the scientists. This is just, uh, stock images. This were Ben Hu, Yu Ping, and Zan uh, Yan Zhu. All right. Why then didn't they say something sooner? The cover up was vast and insidious. Our sources were terrified to tell us what they, what many had long suspected. They only did so because they are so outraged as the American people should be and felt a moral obligation to speak out. All right. They probably spoke out because it was time. They were told to speak. So. That's this information. The link will be in the description box with all the. the full information. I re redacted some things here. So. This is Psalm 64 and 2. It says, hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. From the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. So there are secret councils. There are people that manufacture a plant lives, they plant stories. They control, you know, world hunger. They control different um, sicknesses, all right? The world's governments do these things. Sometimes they're natural. Sometimes they're engineered or facilitated, all right? This is something that, uh, uh, Robert Kennedy Jr. claimed he said he said that the uh, the sickness was engineered to be less aggressive toward the little hats and toward Chinese people it says statement the sickness is targeted to attack Caucasians and black people the people are who the people who are most immune are the Ashkenaz J, Ashkenazi J's, and the Chinese. And Robert F. Kennedy said this. All right. So it's not like these conspiracies actually exist. All right. People get together in secret and they come up with plans to, you know, make news reports, plant true false information the manufacture uh, different sicknesses control them spread them all right exacerbate them where they didn't exist before you know they, they control all these things sometimes they're natural and the thing is we can't it's hard to tell which one is true whether it's something that was already there that they facilitated and just made it grow all right because a lot of these symptoms are you know exactly the same what well, exactly the same there's no new symptoms all right it's the same thing as the, uh as the flu all right but they're making it seem like this is some this is uh, new symptoms all right a lot of people had the flu all right now there's written that they'll be smitten with diseases that are not written in the book all right i don't think the, to my knowledge the flu wasn't one of the one of the diseases in egypt all right some people you know they die from flus and they've been dying from that it's just this is a, a really bad one this is a curse all right 
and I believe, you know, they facilitated it and spread it somehow. Whatever technology they have, they, they spread it. All right. So the origins, you know, uh, they got two theories. Or, well, they got more than they got three theories. All right. Well, this is what John F. Uh, Robert uh, Kennedy uh, said. Alright. To this link, I'll also be in the description box. Alright. And remember, and then he told everybody to rush and go get get the uh take the drug. Go get the drug. Alright. That's so what he all told you to do that. You no, know, take the take drugs and trust in the, their science. No, we don't we don't trust in their science. No, we trust in the Lord, trust in the most high. Yahweh and the son Yahweh Shai. Alright. We trust that when we're put to the test that we're going to pass the temptation. Alright. Which is the ultimate temptation is it's going to be some type of crisis. It could be, you know, uh, something similar to the flu that they're going to uh, force people under threat of death and not eating no resources no but not being able to work and take care of yourself they're going to put that that threat for you to take the implant all right and if you don't take it you're going to be subject to be put to death all right they could chop your head off they could imprison you they can inject you with, with other um with other uh, poisons all right, so you saw he, he can already do that. He can already inject you. He lethal injection. <laughs> he already got that. All right, so don't put it past Esau to engineer and manufacture different crises. This is what Esau is all about: order out of chaos. All right, we see the evidence. We believe the evidence. That's what that's what he did with nine eleven. That's what he did with um different um. Like the, the bombing bombings in the world trade in the 90s. All right. That's what he did with, uh, with Israelites. He, he said that, you know, we were dangerous, manufactured uh, different uh, news articles and uh, to make, you know, so-called, you know, black people look like they were, we were dangerous and we were going to do something to their women. So you saw always had... Um, you know different news set up as the movie uh, 007 tomorrow never dies they uh they were creating news today so they could sell newspapers and sell um you know, pro different products and everything they were committing crimes creating crises so they could control it. that's how the, the, the elite work all right they control the events that go on in the earth whether it be different famines different sicknesses that's how they that's how, that's how they get their power all right by control all right this is um proverbs 14 15 the simple believe with every word but the prudent man look at the world of his goings so we know about the secret orders all right and we're preparing you to trust in Yahweh Shai as our Savior. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. Psalm 64 and 3. Who wet their sword, who sharpen all right, their tongues like a sword, all right, or teach. They make laws. All right, they carry out different you know events. All right, who wet their tongues like swords and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words. I said it's something they actually carry out to hurt the Lord's elect, which are the, the children of Israel. All right. So they have traps set up for Israel that they may shoot in secret mm -hmm. at the perfect. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. They shoot in secret. So you, Ma, Masathar. So it's like when this information comes out, 
their lies. They, they covered it, the, the, the dark images up. Secret place, hiding place. For preparation of crime. All right. They sh that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. Yeah, they try to, one way they, they, they shoot in secret is they try to blame it on just the uh, one tribe of the Edomites. Right? Ashkenazi, Emelech, Ashkenazi, Emelech, Edom, Caucasian. All right, they try to just blame it on that group, and it's really all of them. It's all those tribes of Esau, not just the, uh, the little hats, but they may shoot in secret at the perfect, the perfect of the Israelites, even if they're being wicked. All right? Suddenly do they shoot. Let's look up shoot, 3384. Yerah. Cast, lay, direct, teach, and instruct. All right. What do they teach and instruct? They, they, they teach the so-called black history. That's just one point. Black history, and it starts while we're slaves. <laughs> then they also teach about the, uh, the H costs. And they, they say, oh, they, those, those are chambers with windows and vents. All right. If they were to use that gas in those uh, chambers, they would have killed the people using the gas. And they teach us those things and to gain sympathy, to uh, marginalize our ancestors' suffering, which we are our ancestors. All right. And they've effectively made, made us second-class citizens. All right. We're the most hated most talked about people on the planet negatively the children of israel that they may shoot in secret and you know they, we, they uh, marginalize our inventions our contribution to the new to this new world if it wasn't for our inventions and, and our work you wouldn't you saw the devil wouldn't believe to build this new world all right they didn't take advantage of us steal our resources they wouldn't be able to take advantage of the, uh they wouldn't be to they wouldn't have been great the western expansion all right. But they did it because the manifest destiny, the Lord, the Lord made them, gave them the power to do so. All right. So we're still in biblical times. There's no time that it's not biblical times. I mean, in the time of the prophecies. As it is written about Gad, a troop shall overcome him, but he shall overcome at the last. The prophecy hasn't been fulfilled yet. Only one part of the prophecy has been fulfilled. So the other part has to take place. So we know that Esau's kingdom, just by that one prophecy, is going to, uh, Esau's kingdom cannot continue. It's going to fall. Babylon's going to fall. Babylon is America. All right. So <laughs> conspiracies exist. This is why you should believe the conspiracies. Because they redact, like I redacted information on this article. They redact information all the time and they hide and they lie. This should be elementary by now. All right. How long did they know and why did they keep it secret? Because there's a secret order to engineer future events so they can control the world in secrecy in secrecy. All right. They may that they may shoot Psalm 64 and 4 that they may shoot in secret at the perfect suddenly do they shoot at him in fear not and they shoot in secretly at the, uh, the uh, other nations the, their own population also so they can bring about this new world order and they're gradually bringing it about all right might as well get Revelation 13 healed all right and i saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death and his deadly wound was healed that's the rebirth of the roman empire america all right and all the world wondered after the beast let's jump down to uh 15 and he had power to give life into the image of the beast. And the image of the beast should both speak and cause as 
many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. All right. The image of the beast is the, uh, the government, the style of government, the agenda of the ancient Roman Empire. So the image was reborn. All right. And what was one I heard one of the reasons why the Edomite Romans attacked the Japhites, the Europeans, all right, outside of uh, you know, Rome was because they said they were being attacked by them, by the, the native, uh, the, the, the different Japhetic tribes. They, the Roman Empire said that they were being attacked. All right? And that's what, uh, so they went on a preemptive sometimes, uh, well, if they were actually being attacked and, and sometimes, it, well, most of the time it was a preemptive attack. That's why they conquered Europe because the, all of your, the native Europeans were, they were not Caucasians, by the way, uh, they weren't all attacking Rome, but they believed they had to, the Edomite Romans believed they had to subjugate all of those uh, Japhetic tribes because they were in fear of being attacked. That's the same thing America does. All right. And that was one explanation I heard. Here's another one. I said, why did the Roman Empire attack the Native Europeans? Why did the Romans invade everyone? First of all, the Romans wanted to control as much of the world as they could. Their main goal was to make their empire as big and powerful as possible. They were also seeking natural resources. Does this sound familiar? Such as precious metals, slaves, and farmland. Now, certain of the Japhetic tribes attacked the Romans also. In the 4th century, 4th, 5th century CA, many, what well, is this common error? I'm talking about, talking about like BC. This is 4th century stuff. The Roman Empire had already done demonic shit to the, to the darker skinned Native Europeans, the Japhites. Uh, so that's, that's one explanation right there. Uh, and I heard that they were, they said they were under attack by these German, so-called Germanic tribes. All right. Let's go back to Revelation. All right. So that's the image. That's the image of the beast. They believe they're being attacked. They have to subjugate the different nations in the world. They have to get the resources of slaves and land. All right. So that's the image of the beast. Which it will speak. So it's alive. It's alive. And cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Now you gotta, you have to get with the uh, the program, get with the uh, democracy, believe what the image teaches. All right, you gotta take the you know, different drugs. You gotta take the uh, the implant chip. All right, you have to be a good citizen. All right, and he calls us all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. All right, and that mark is karagma. That no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark of the name of the beast or the number of his name. Let him, so let's look up that word, mark. We got karagma. Goes back to Karax. Go back to uh, another variation is Karagmatas. Karagma. Karagmatai. Karagmati. Which means um, of a mark st stamped or in, in, it's implanted because it's going, it's going to be inserted. It's not going to be in, on the top of your skin. It's going to be in your skin. All right marked branded upon horses a mark uh stamped on a forehead or the right hand as a badge of the fowls of the antichrist as, as a badge of servitude all right so you'll be able to buy and sell with the uh that implant all right i'm gonna show a video and then mark shows up quite a few times about seven times nine times Nine uh, different verses. Oh, it says, uh, And the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth, and there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast, and upon 
them which worshipped his image. So that's, I think it goes, when you look it up, it goes back to like cancer, something, something malignant that causes harm or hurt. All right. So be some, some form of cancer or some, some, some sort of uh, disease that causes uh, hurt, some disease. All right. So, yes, <laughs> that's another reason you shouldn't take it. You know, you're going to get the Lord's going to curse you with, with some type of uh, disease. All right. And I saw thrones and they sat upon them and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai and for the word of Yahweh and which had not worshipped the beast. All right. Neither his image, neither had received his mark. So the elect, you got some elect that are going to be put to death. All right. That did not get down with the neo-Roman way of life. All right. Because America is a rebirth of the Roman Empire. All right. So that, that the system of rule with the Senate House and the, the, the senators, the party systems, the laws, regulation, and their manner, which they were going to war with the natives around them, all right, which were not Caucasians, to steal resources, gold, silver, land, and slaves. The same thing they do today. America does. All right. But they, but they uh, exchange, they allow them to use their, their uh, fiat money system upon their foreheads. Neither had received their marks upon their foreheads or in their hands, and they lived and reigned with Mashiach a thousand years. All right, so we believe that to be the the time in which all the nations are going to be totally subject in bondage to Israel for a thousand years. All right, and then they're gonna we're still gonna be the gods on earth, and they'll pretty much take our place as we have it today. They'll be you know second class citizens. They'll be regular power. We'll we'll be like God powered. We'll be the gods on earth, and they'll just be regular people after that thousand years. But within that thousand years, they're gonna be slaves, working servants. They're gonna be our servants. All right, but they're going to be uh, their status is going to be uh, elevated from a bond slave to let's say a regular <laughs> a regular servant all right because the scriptures tell you about the nation's going to be healed and they're going to be getting their back whipped punished taught for a thousand years and after a thousand years they're going to receive their inheritance all right and then Esau is going to be completely burnt the hell up in a pit. The Edomites, all the tribes of Esau, all right, not just one tribe, not just Ashkenazi Esau, all right, all the uh, tribes of uh, the Edomites are going to be put in a pit and burned up, all right. So we play that video. Now, this is from the movie. Well, this is Independence Day right here. But um, this is from the movie um, Lazarus, The Lazarus Project, I think, starring Paul Paul Walker. The dude that I killed in that, uh, I think he's a passenger in that Porsche or whatever, that car. So people say it's a conspiracy theory that they, they killed him, Illuminati killed him. All right. This is a uh, subject experiencing paranoia and hallucinations. Induced by a saline, saline implant, skin irritation at implant site. That could be the uh, the malignant disease that you're going to get if you take the uh, implant. Skin irritation at implant site. Consider implant removal. Side effects persist. But you take it out, it don't matter. The Lord going to dis destroy you. It's the flat 
implant here way before they advertised that uh that flat implant in um which is within the last like year or two or so they came out with the flat implant but this movie came out in uh 2007 let me see lazarus project movie yeah this this is uh this came out a while ago i think like 2005 2007 Your phone taking all day. Come on. The Lazarus Project is a 2008 movie directed by John Glenn, starring Paul Walker, Piper Parabo, and Linda Cardellini. Hope you heard that. It's an hour and 40 minutes. 2008. All right. That's a flat, the flat uh, implant. So it's nothing new. So they, they they put these things in these movies. So this is how we know about these secret orders. All right, this is not a coincidence that this flat implant was conceived in two thousand seven, well two thousand eight, and it had to be conceived during its nearest conception, probably in the eighties and nineties. Different style of implant chips. Let's go through that one more time so you can see it again. It's the fire. This is the book of Ezekiel, the first chapter, fire folding on itself. Um, I, Independence Day. So it's when the seraphim's going to come back and save the children of Israel and destroy East, the Edomites, the elected Israel. All right. This is the chariot of Israel, the angels. Get bigger. See it. Uh, we 31 minutes, 32 minutes. Subject experiencing paranoia and hallucinations. You want to take that this implant? I don't think so. No, that's right. The scripture. Grievous sore, some type of malignant disease you're gonna get, and we're gonna curse you with it. Don't say, oh well, you can put things in your body and you don't get sick. Well, guess what? The Lord gonna curse you with a disease, as they say. The, 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 the scriptures, the prophecy says, you take that. You're going to get some type of disease, some type, some type of malignant disease. Yeah, yeah, we're moving it. Yeah, you're still going to get the disease and the Lord is still going to burn your ass up with fire. All right. Got to play. And we're going to play. That's a flat, the flat implant. So you got no excuses. And who's telling you about this? The, great, the elders and apostles, the great millstone, and the brothers on down. All right. You ain't going to get this information with IUIC, ISUPK. They're going to just talk about the Esau being a devil, which he is, and how other camps don't know nothing. <laughs> you know, in Christ, Christ Jesus, you know, we worship Yahweh Shai. Uh, let's go to here. Need the mic. This resurface again, brothers. Just recently sharing it, sharing it within our chat. But this is uh, they announced this I think a few years ago, the uh, palm, the palm pay, or if, if not longer. Uh, but here's the uh, news report on it. Let that play. If you don't have your wallet. There's no problem. Just scan your palm to pay. Amazon One is a payment system that has been tested at several stores around the Bay Area, and now it may be coming to a grocery store near you. Ground Force Justin Campbell has more on how it works and the privacy concerns. Just shut your palm real quick. We may scan it. I hope you don't use that. <laughs> the idea of using your palm to pay doesn't feel right for this Whole Foods customer, but others like the idea. I don't know who else can get into my palm, really, but I'm not really against it. The technology coming to the Bay Area Whole Foods stores over the next few weeks works like this. Amazon says no two palms are alike. They use vision technology. You hold your hand above the device, which scans and takes less than a minute to create a palm signature. Your palm is connected to your credit card online, so whenever you want to pay, all you have to do is hover 
your palm. Too intense. It's a little crazy. This customer is worried about privacy. I think using your DNA and stuff is just too much to give out. There's a lot of different variables that need to be considered. Ralph Aceves with Hacker Strike says in general the technology is safe, but he does have concerns. It's the data that is being downloaded from the cloud to be able to know who you are based on your palm um, stored in the device. Amazon says palm images are not stored on the device. The images are encrypted and sent to the cloud. Aceves other concern is phishing. For example, at a grocery store, there's no one around and someone could potentially replace that scanning device with a fake scanning device, just like they do today with credit card readers, right? Aceve says he believes the technology is the future because it's convenient for consumers. You know my palm? Jeez, come on. Reporting in San Jose, Justin Campbell, Cron 4 News. It it All right, uh, so we got some more. I think he walks into the store. What I have here. So this is actually a re-upload. Re-upload. I did this on the uh, last October. Last October and I re-uploaded it. All right. Come back down. Yeah. How is that right? When we come back down. All right, we're going to be gods on earth. All right, we're going to have new bodies, new minds. We're going to be the demo. Oh. Check out with this little device or uh, with the Amazon One and see how this all works. So let me go up here. And uh, so I've already registered my credit card. The registration process is pretty easy. You literally just put a credit card in that is registered to your Amazon account. It will recognize that. You hold your palm, uh, your left, and then your right over it. And look at that. With this, you can actually see some of the lights in there that's uh, using infrared to scan your palm. And Amazon says they wanted to use the palm scanning technology because it's uh, less identifiable than anything else in your body. So it's not your facial recognition. It's not fingerprint recognition. It is actually palm, which realistically you don't really use for many other recognitions. All right, so there is my little tea turtle, it's called. Total is $16.43. Um, and all I have to do now is just put my hand. It doesn't matter which one, right? Nope, you'll be set. Okay, so I'm gonna, it says pay with my palm. And you see that little red light? That's it. <laughs> that, was, that was that fast. And so it just shows my uh, email address right here. Click it. And it says, thank you for shopping at Amazon Books. And that is it. Awesome. Got a receipt emailed. And that is how fast it is to use this thing. That's all I need, huh? Yep, yeah, you're all set. Okay, thank you. Receipt's in the bag. Right. You get an email one as well. Oh, and I get an email one as well. Okay, so that was pretty easy. Uh, so what do you think? Are you ready? Ready to use your palm to check out? I mean, it's kind of cool if you uh, have like a store locally, like, you know, a little um, convenience store down the street or something that you just go to quickly. Yeah, I see that. Again, that, that's not the, uh, that's not the MOTB. All right. That's not the MOTB. MOTB is a device in, implanted in your physical person, in your hand. There's one with micro straight hand. That's the one I want to get. Uh, it's the brain chips. It's three companies that have the brain chip. So Elon, during the making of this video three months ago, Elon Musk was not approved. All right. This was three months ago, but he's approved now, I believe. But you had three different companies that had the brain chip. You had uh, Neuralink, which they were not approved. FDA did not approve them three months ago. That's when I did the uh, video. Where's that? March. Now, I believe they're approved now. Today is Sunday, June 24th. Oh, Monday, June 20. Monday, June 24th. And then we got uh, synchronbrain.io and Paradromics as Corporation. Those are the three companies that have. Uh, what spinal bypass technology, I think it's called. All right. 
So, yeah, a lot of people just know about Neuralink, and they didn't know that Neuralink was U.S. regulators rejected Elon Musk's bid to test brain chips and human citing safety risk. All right, but I believe, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, they have approval now. I believe they're FDA approved now. You can fact check that. But these are the, these are the three companies: Neuralink, Synchron, Brain.io, and Paradromics Incorporation. All right, and the links are right here. It's just for the three. Just click on the playlist, and you'll find MOTB stuff. Uh, I want to find one micro stray in that video. Implant causes wound. CQ. There we go. I put a confirmation together. That's a video I put together years ago. The gray state. Uh, let's do this here. Receive yeah. more. Right. Yeah. I love this big board. Oh graphic. yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's a <laughs> big move at an office that could change the way a lot of Americans work. A tech company in Wisconsin is offering to implant implant tiny microchips into its employees. Not just no, but no. The <laughs> chips the chips could allow people to unlock office doors, uh, make purchases. Rebecca, come on oh, here. So many questions about this, Robin so and Michael. Good morning. We asked a lot of them. This is the first American company to ever try this. One week from today, many of the employees, including the CEO, will voluntarily have the microchips implanted into their bodies, and they're calling it I'm not kidding here, a chips and salsa party. Oh! <laughs> this morning, like a scene straight out of 007. So you can keep an eye on me? Employees at one Wisconsin tech company, Three Square Market, willingly making that fantasy a reality, implanting their own bodies with microchips. What did the employees say when you brought this idea to them? Half of them actually within five seconds says yes. CEO Todd Westby, along with 50 of his 80 colleagues, even his wife and kids, preparing to implant these chips, the size of a grain of rice, between their forefingers and thumbs, so they can do everything from buy snacks in the break room to log in in the morning to unlocking doors with just the swipe of a hand. What did it take to persuade the holdouts? Basically, we had to explain to them there's no uh, tracking of the information. It's not GPS or anything like that. The radio frequency technology in the devices approved by the FDA will be inserted with a small needle by a licensed technician. Some internet experts warn that the convenience could come at a cost. Many things start off with the best of it to do it. Just pop it okay. up there. It's that simple. So to give you a sense, here's a grain of rice. The chips will be inserted like this grain of rice right here between your thumb and your forefinger. And most of the employees have opted in. It is voluntary. One size fits all, I guess. Now, what, <laughs> what happens if you get the implant and then you're like, I don't want this anymore? So they told me, in case this happens, you pop it out. You literally push it out the way you would push a splinter out of your hand. Hmm. <laughs> yes. Hmm. 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 Okay. Are you on board? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> or are you on board no all right now the flat chip i should have showed you in the movie Lazarus project let's talk about payments year after year the societies that live this a year are ago more and more cashless more and more people uh, april 12th and smart payments 2022 and more and more merchants accept payments through payment terminals making our purchases easy and more convenient shut the hell up dude man Fuck. you don't need credit card safe other they work as a standard contactless payments wearables and are accepted worldwide by every payment terminal processing contactless payments the implant encapsulant biopolymer material has been tested to be biocompatible and hypoallergenic which means that it doesn't react with your body's cells if requested, the implant can be easily removed at any time by any general practice doctor during a simple office visit. The NFC technology used in the implant authorizes the payment transaction only when it's placed in a very short distance from a payment terminal. 
Additionally, the implant doesn't violate the basic privacy principles. Just like your bank card, the implant doesn't track your location because it doesn't have any battery, GPS radio or any other spying or activity tracking systems. What is more? Using wallet more implants. The apostles and the elders of Great Millstone by Shermer Kakwadash. My name is Jacobo from Plain Tables Camp of Philly. So that's the uh, flat chip. That was... Where are we at? Oh, I go back to the... Shalom, or praise Right here, that was showed in movie Lazarus Project. Let me see. Uh, there we go. I'm trying to pull it out. That's a flat chip. So this is in 2008. 2008 so they planned this all right so they, they're gonna plan they got more plans they're gonna carry carry them out in the near future let's bring it up let's go back to that flat chip no no it was six seven minutes Dun, 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 dun. Where are you at? Right there. Yeah, so it ain't new. All right. It ain't new. That was in the Lazarus Project. That's a flat chip. Yeah, it's 2000, 2008. All right, so they're going, they, they coming out. They already have it. Did it have to create some sort of crisis to uh, segue it in? All right. And how are they going to do that? It could be through some type of infect this. All right. Some type of national thing, some kind of pan thing, some kind of terrorist attack, uh, food scarcity, uh, what, uh, famines. Hey. Multiple ways they could bring it in to make it uh, to segue this flat chip in, or the, the traditional uh, grain of rice chip in. All right, I think that's all I had pretty much. At the Ivy Leaf of Bacchus, or Ivy Leaf of Dionysus, excuse me. Bacchus, uh, Roman, Latin, Dionysus is Greek. Right. Yeah, let's check this playlist out. It's a lot of good uh, information here. Market of Beast. 29 videos. Plus. All right. So I'll leave that there. Hope you edify it. Shalom.